Hello, this is Lord Og. Welcome back to some more Detroit Become Human. <laughs> I'm still excited. Uh, I've been thinking all day about it. Yeah, since I stopped playing, it's like I just keep thinking about this game now. So, I'm going to get straight back into it. You know, if you watched yesterday, that I did lose my temper a little bit, and I did rant a little bit at Todd, and may have swore a few times. But on the whole, I think we did okay, and we tended we we did pretty pretty well in game most of the things. So we're going to get straight into this, where I don't know where we are, this is where we stopped off. November 5th, 2038, 2 minutes to 10. Oh, okay, it's him that bought the Bellini paints. Oh, that's a nice house. Oh, okay. Oh, it's Marcus, okay, so we've got a name for him. If we had back before, we have now. Deposit package over here. Let's do that. Did I just see a, a way to see how good I'm looking? So if I did, then I've got to have a look. Yeah, look at that. That's how good I'm looking. Wow, some good stuff. Oh, it's a face. Nice, nice face there. Okay, what else have we got? Okay, bird cage. Hello, birdies. This is a lot more chill than Todd's place. Oh, catch your birds. Turn on. Oh, not that kind of turn on. Let just press the button. Okay, also oh, we've got mechanical birds. I suppose that's pretty cool as well because then they're not going to crap all over the place and they're going to live longer. You know, you're not going to not going to die away in a, in a couple of years, two or three, in a few years. That's cool. Let's see what we've got. Wait, Carl upstairs, but I've got a feeling we've got plenty of other things to do before then. So let's uh, let's have a look round. Okay, we've got some doors here, so let's have a look through through here then. Okay. Giraffe. Oh, giraffe. How oh, kid are you doing? I see like up there. You happy? You look happy. I don't know why, because you're stuffed. It's probably not a good time for you. Oh, piano! This is it. I've got me. I've got me. I'm doing this. Oh. Killer tune, I'm telling you, amazing. I have to sit down and play a concert thing. <laughs> I always wanted to learn piano, but I was just never good. I was just never very good at it. Let's spin this globe just because we can. Okay. No, we don't need to look at giraffe again, although I am tempted. There's a handsome looking giraffe as giraffes go. Okay, go along here. Like, oh, hello. Well, okay, cool. Crazy. I like them fake them skulls. <laughs> yeah, there's Michael. Oh, I like them skulls. Okay, let's go along here. Oh, they're weird. I'm going to shut the bloody door, I don't need to put that, I don't need that. What's this? Just a TV. And, uh... It's got it set to show underwater. Lovely. Oh, let's read! Oh, good, okay, let's read the book. The North Pole, why Russia wants it? Okay. Why does Russia want the North Pole? Russia is just North Pole, isn't it? I mean, both the US and Russia are and this isn't just. Yeah. Okay, what's next then? Life found on Titan. In Titan, a moon. Oh, it's going to kill me that. I think Titan's a moon around something like Jupiter or Saturn. It's one of them places that's got a lot of moons. One of the, some, a couple of the other planets have got quite quite a few few moons. I think Titan's on one of them, isn't it? Something like that. It's either Jupiter or Saturn, I think. Uh, press up one to me. Let's have a read. The Darwin probe, which left exactly 19 years ago to probe the surface of Titan's methane, has been confirmed the presence of microorganisms. Living hundreds of kilometers below the surface of an ocean of salt water protected by a thick layer of ice. After similar microbial matter was found on the 
Oh, there we are. On the end, the Salaris. Another satellite of Saturn. So, we, we, we're speaking, and Titan's a satellite of Saturn. I said it was Saturn or Jupiter, I just couldn't remember which it was. It seems increasingly possible that life is common in the universe. And that's supposed to be responding to the story of data. Sorry, I'm just interested in this one. I don't know why, because it's made up, but I'm interested. So it's really kind of the prime objective I'm covering it. Very dangerous, are specially designed to function as long range machines in this kind. That's interesting. Thank you. Yeah, I don't think there's out left to read on that, to be honest. There's nothing point in, in here in this anymore. So let's go. Oh, hello, nice draw, nice picture. Wow, now nah, those I don't like. <laughs> Look at them two, they're gaudy as hell. Look like a Rubik's Cube gone wrong. Okay, we're going in here. Kitchen. Okay, so we've only got one thing in here that lights up, but we'll throw a walk around just to see what happens. Anything? Anything in the fridge? Can we have a look? No? Okay. Get it? Forget it! I don't want to know. I'll be fine. There's nothing in there. Okay. Let's do this. No? Oi! Get over the tray. Nothing like having your, uh, your food delivered to you. So, this is all for his human, I'm guessing, or just for the person who he belongs to, I should say, because I think his purchase will be property. Ugh, I hate how this works. Okay, so, I think we've done everything down here. I can't think of anything will be that's left. I didn't miss anything, I don't think, so let's go up here. Oh, that's a cool picture, I like that. It's a woman. If you look right at the top, I don't know if you can see it, you probably can. But, no, 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 no. But she's like, her lips are touching her, 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 her arm, like she's kissing her arm. It's like she's almost laid down and her lips are touching her arm. Can you see it? Really nice. Oh, it's like a a chair a chairlift type thing where where it goes up and down the stairs. So it's an elderly person that is uh, looking after. That's gorgeous all hell. Although it looks like that the they have a that one's mounting other one, giving a little bit of a tickle at back at neck with tongue. <laughs> Just my mind. Okay, we'll go up here. Okay. Well, whoever it is likes dinosaurs. Nice. And gorgeous chandeliers. This door's all along here. There's only one way you can go. Let's just have a look round. Alright, so this is where you can look back down to uh, Giraffe! Down there. Is there anything on these bookcases? No. I'm always wondering if these kind of houses have got... Wait, what's through there? Oh, hey, what's that? What's this picture of? Uh, no, I don't see it. Well, that's some kind of... There was some kind of open area out there. I want to, I want to go and have a look. Sorry about this, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll try and move a bit faster, but I do like to see everything if I can. It looked like there was an open area out there. So how do we get there? You through the kitchen? Oh, some kind of back door thing. Because I didn't look for back, yeah, the back, can we get through here? No, it's not a door. I thought it's just windows. Okay, so we can't 
Nu vill jag se världen. Jag ska se. So I, I was wrong. I thought there was an open area out there. It looked like it. Wait, 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 wait. What's this? I can go through these. Oh, here we are. This is what I saw. There's a painting area. Okay. There's some places to clean up and things like that. Let's do that. Yeah, yeah. So if we do these, it should get open. It should unlock more things at the end when it's telling us how well we did. Because I'm guessing cleaning up was just an optional thing. Okay, so over here. Clean these canvases up. I always wished I could be painter. I, I did, no, I did. It's like, I, I, th I think when you're really good, it, you can do amazing things. Like that hand, I love that hand there. I mean, it looks like the outside looks sloppy, but the hand looks incredible. And the eyes just, I, I can draw. I'm not a bad drawer. I'm not a great drawer. But it's like if I give myself, like Mark said, 10, 10 being an incredible artist, I'm probably about a 7. So I can hold my own. I didn't do bad at school, but I, I, I don't, I'm not very good at imagining things and kind of fo you know, focusing a picture and copying it. I can like look at a picture and then draw it. I'm not about tracing. I mean, I can look at a picture and then draw it straight onto page just freehand. But it's like I'm not good at keeping an image held in my head. And in that case, I, I lose it quickly. And that's why that's the place I've always felt faltered. Is that it? I was over here. So I would like to. Uh, I would have liked to get better at drawing. This has got things in that I like. It's like uh, that when he went to that piano. I always wanted to learn to be a pianist, but I was never any good at that either. Uh, I never really got into it. I would, I would love to take lessons and actually, you know, work, actually become a proper pianist. Two instruments I always wanted to learn was uh, piano and uh, violin, believe it or not. <laughs> yeah. I always thought violin sounded amazing and played properly. Okay, let's go. We've done enough here. I don't think there's help left to do. I'm not getting any yellow, yellow marks left, so I'm thinking that's it. Let's go and wake him up. So yeah, I always want to learn piano and violin. Uh, I always can play drums, but you know, when I was at school, everybody were doing drums anyway. So there were plenty. There were quite a few drummers around. But yeah, I, I can drum. I, I, I can strum a guitar a tiny bit, but not very good. Okay, so let's go and wake him up. I'm guessing he's through here because it's the only door I remember that I haven't been through. Draw curtains, of course. Let's do this. Ah, here we are. Ah. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80% humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. Oh, it sounds shame. like a good day to spend in bed. <laughs> I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes. I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget it. I never forget nothing, Carl. Anything. Take. All right, looking okay, medicine. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. <laughs> Carl. <laughs> wow, she's on. Hmm. Oh, I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. I thought for a second there was something wrong with his arm, then I saw it were... Oh, this um, is such a fragile machine. Then I thought I saw it was just tattooed. They break down so quickly. And that's true. All this effort to keep oh. them going. What happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. Yeah, I agree. I thought I'd have told them I'm going to fuck them up. by roughing up a few androids? I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. 
I'll take you to the bathroom now. Oh. Lance, so is it, that's, is it Lance Hen Hendrickson or something like that? From, you were in, uh, what were you? Ailey, Ailey, Ailey? I'm thinking of the wrong person. Oh, he's a really well known actor. I actually like him, funnily enough, and I can't remember my mind's gone blank of what he's in. So I'll probably even pop something up on the screen to, to kind of say, well, there's something special on the agenda today. Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. <laughs> hmm. Cool. Oh, that's it. Uh, that's what Any I thought news from did. Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, I don't bother. So I guess we're going to go and take him to have something to eat. So let's go to the uh, dining room. I'm starving. Yep, yeah, well, all food's there. Ready. Bacon and eggs, just the oh, way you like them. Thank you, Mark. Well You're done. Welcome. Well done. That's a good choice of you know, a good breakfast. Good fry up. Yeah, I really do like his, uh, his acting. Television. But if it's the person I think it is. Is it Lance Hendrickson, his name? I can't remember. Now. My mind's just gone blank. I'm too busy trying to concentrate on games. I just can't think. Oh, my mind's dead. Help. Eat up. Eat it all. you find something to do while I finish While it's warm. Sure. Okay. Okay, Carl. That's the... Uh, Find something to do. Why don't we? Oh, we can play chess. I'm having a go at chess, Carl. I like chess, Carl. I can play chess. Yeah, let's, let's, I'm going to chess it up. <clears throat> Fancy game of chess. Hell yeah! Sure, yeah. Let's do Speed it. Speed chess. Speed Fine. chess it is. I'm good. I'm gonna win. That is a very odd draw. I'll count for draw, I admit. Tell the truth. Well, I know that you don't like to lose, but you don't like it when I let you win either. A draw feels like an honorable compromise, no? <laughs> One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. Okay. <clears throat> See, that's the problem. It's uh, it's hard to know where you stand on this because where do you where do you go with it? Because it, it, you can't give him human traits because he's an android, and it feels like Carl's trying to make him human and say you've got choices and that, and yet. You haven't. You're a tool. I mean, it sounds awful to say, but you wouldn't tell a hammer, do you want to hit that nail, or do you not want to hit that nail? That is cool. I like that. That is awesome. That is. Let's see where I we want, left I off. Want, I want one of them Remove machines. The I don't know why. Remove the sheet. I don't know why, because my legs are fine, but he's like, I'd like one. It would just be fun. 
to ride it. Woohoo! Okay, what you paint? Oh, it's a face again. Okay. Life and new instructions. Carl! Talk to me, Carl. Ah, oh, fucking good car. I don't, I don't know that. But yeah, I, I like his. I, I like this actor's uh, stuff. I'm definitely. I'll probably make a make a note of and put odd thing in on the screen, same way he did. Well, he is amazing. I think you're in Aliens vs Predator as well. Just a few things. The master just blank. Stop trying to work it out, Michael. It's done. You failed. Okay, he's coming back. He waits till I walk away and then decides to come down. He did that on purpose. So, what's your verdict, Marcus? It's a face. I have no I'm opinion. I'm not programmed to criticize art. I, you would be a much better judge than I would. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Yeah, Each see, day like that goes happen. by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brush. <laughs> that's a bit... Carl. That's a bit... Depressing. Enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Hell yes. Can you try? Try painting something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. I'm gonna get my my afro on and do a Bob Ross, Bob Ross afro. Where is it? So we're just gonna take some white, just put put some trees over here. Okay, find a subject to paint. Okay, paint Carl. No, I don't want to paint Carl's statue. I'm going to go for all these brushes because there's lots of colour. So we'll paint the desk. And then we just do a gentle brush stroke over here. And here. <laughs> I love Bob Ross. Amazing guy. Very secretive guy as well, actually. Never did many interviews. That is a perfect copy. It is, isn't it? Of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world, it's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't th think I can do that. It's not in my program. Yeah. Go I on, to... go, try it. Grab that canvas. So he's trying to make him be individual. It's like it's a robot. You know, you can't, they can't grow a soul. They've got a program. That's it. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Now, if the program does have the ability to randomize, then I suppose... It Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Okay. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. Oh, that yellow thing's flickering. Okay. Humanity. Hope. Happy little Jones. Then Bob will show you how to do it all. And it'll be amazing. Right, show us it. Let's see it. See if he's got any imagination. Wow, that is oh amazing. God. That really is amazing. Who are you? Hey, Dad. Leo. Leo, okay. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? It reminds me of somebody. You all what right? What does it remind me of? 
Besides the dick. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can already tell. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Oh, there okay. we go. What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well, it just goes, you know? <laughs> no, I don't just know. <laughs> yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear it's not that. No, it's don't lie, me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash. That's all. There you go. It reminds Sorry. me of somebody. The answer is no. Yeah, what? don't blame why? you. You know because why. Because you're a juggie. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd rather you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than oh, your There we son, go. Right? Blame it on the android. Tell me, Dad, what's what's he got that I don't? Smarter? More obedient? Not a like personality, me, right? funnily enough. But you know what? To say this that it's a robot. This is not your son. It's a fucking machine! Leo, that's enough! Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. That's a great You never thing. loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. Yeah, that makes me laugh, that, right? You never People say me. that. Then we addiction say that. You'll pour money into them. You'll give them everything that you can. And then when you finally say no because they're taking you for a dick, then they'll tell you, you never loved me. You never did anything for me. It's, it's pathetic. It really is. I actually know somebody who's like that. I'm not going to say who, but they've got a problem. They've got an addiction, and uh, their their parents bent over backwards to give them uh, just for everything they could. They bailed them out of trouble that they got themselves in with the uh, gambling, with the gambling and that. They were gambling like the rent money and everything, and their and the parents were giving them money. And then when they finally said no, this 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 person started saying, "Oh, you never loved me. You never cared about me." And yet it would do something like. It, it took some like fourteen grand off him in like a short, like about a few years, and it, and then he went, "Oh, you never loved me, you never cared." It, it was pathetic, pathetic. So you know, it's just that addiction stuff. What we got here? Let's have a look. So arrived home, everything's good. Didn't miss anything there. Reread all the stuff. Good, good, good. Oh yeah, I suppose there's two other things. Well, the piano might have been one. We did have a, we did have a piano we played, so I could probably play piano. That'd have been good. Oh, we lost our draw. Most people went for a draw. Well, that's nice. <laughs> Second will win. I'm not sure what other two are. I suppose. Oh, I see. It'll be depending on what you pick. If you pick like where you play chess, then it goes to top and. If you pick, say, the next one down, it'll go to middle. If you pick the bottom one of them three, it'll go to the bottom. Uh, take heart to studio. Did that. Copy cars painting, copy desk. So most people copied uh, the statue. Okay. Paint from paint from the heart. Why? Well, yeah, a lot of people went for identity. I can see how that had, that had come through with what you're doing, but playing this game because it's about identity in a way. But I just think humanity, and I like how people went for hope. Do you know? I actually like that. You know, it's like I actually like that most people went for hope and only. I mean, oh yeah, only 2% went for anger, but and a low percent went for comfort. Went for anger, I mean. And only 2% went for comfort, but a lot went for hope, and that's nice. So I went, so you can bet a lot went for identity and hope. I wonder what that mixture's like. It's like my mind's really going now, because I want to see what that comes to. So where would, would others be? And does that mean you don't pick one? Like you pick, say, if you pick Android... Then it, oh no, if you pick Android, then you'll get the ones at the top, and yeah, identity, you get the ones at the bottom. You might get, you might not even get anger, comfort, uh, empathy, and hope if you pick Android or identity. I don't know. Them four options might only be for humanity, and, and I'm not sure. So, really, there were nothing that I actually missed, it was just picking other options that I actually, you know, I couldn't do them all, so it didn't matter. Only some percent went for Android. Wow. So, rarest one would have been Android and Comfort. <laughs> Leo intruded to ask for money. Leo, you dick. Anyway, guys, we're going to leave it there because uh, I want to get this one up. Last and took ages because it was 53 minutes long, so it took me hours to do. So, I'm going to get this one up. Anyway, thanks for watching. I will see you again soon with another episode. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, remember to drop a like and comment. Always like to hear what you do and what you score. So, you know, put put yours in where you where you pick different if you pick different to me, and uh, I'll see you again soon. So you take care, and goodbye for now.